Hey guys, what's up? My name is Moshe Levin and I'm a registered nurse in Israel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the daily routine of a registered nurse. So the first thing that nurse does when he or she comes to their shift is receive a short summary about every single patient from the nurse of the previous shift. This summary generally includes very, very short things about the patient during the previous shift. Whether it's different tests that were done to the patient, specific medications that were given to the patient that are not regular or not regular for this patient, and any other extraordinary things that may have happened during the previous shift. It's very, very important for this summary to be short and very precise because when a nurse is receiving 10, 12, sometimes even 15 patients for the next shift, hearing a five minute summary about every single patient will take a very long time and most of that information will be lost because the nurse will not be able to remember it. So after receiving the summary from the previous nurse, the nurse starts his or her shift. So we start off the shift by preparing a list of medications that we're gonna be giving throughout the shift. Where I work specifically, we have stickers that we can print out from the computer that help us keep track of what medications we need to give at what time to which patient. It helps us out to keep track of all the medications that are needed, all the medications that we need to order from the pharmacy, and all the medications that we need to make when we need to make them so that it's easier to keep track. Some hospitals don't have such a printer, so the nurse will write down what medication is needed for which patient at what time so that he or she can keep track of what medications are needed. The next thing that we do, which is very, very important, is going out and measuring vital signs, which is blood pressure, blood oxygen levels, uh, heart rate, uh, temperature, and uh, blood sugar levels when needed. It's very, very important to do the blood sugar levels as early as possible in the morning before the patients start eating so that we get a fasting glucose level or somewhat of a fasting glucose level so that we can base the amount of insulin that we're giving the patient on that measurement and not after they already ate, which obviously will be higher than their fasting glucose level. Another thing is very, very important to remember is that nurses are constantly helping the patients go to the bathroom, take a shower, encouraging patients to take a shower, encouraging patients to take care of themselves. Very often patients forget about this when they come to the hospital. They kind of forget about their daily routine. They're kind of knocked out of their daily routine and it's very important for patients to keep their hygiene levels up. Firstly, to prevent infection and also it helps keep up morale. It helps keep the patient's spirits up and it helps with their healing process and their rehabilitation process. So another thing that nurses do during their shift is they do the rounds with the doctors. The doctors will generally have a virtual round in the morning, which is done with a computer. They will read up about all the patients, build a treatment plan or a continuous treatment plan, continue the treatment plan, change the treatment plan. This is something that the nurses generally are not as much involved in. It's done in a closed room. They don't really see the patients. They only see the medical record. And based on that, they make changes and they build a plan for the patients, as we said earlier. Then they will go out and they do all rounds. They will do their rounds. They will split up between the patients. And the nurses, of course, will go with them to throw in also the information that is missing, possibly information that the nurse hasn't yet put into the medical record or other information that the doctors may have missed, so on and so forth. The nurses will also listen in order to be able to build their plan based on what the doctors have planned for the next day or two for this patient. Another thing that's so important that nurses do is making sure that the patients get the help that they need in order to receive the proper care. One thing that's so important is social worker. Every single ward has a social worker that works in that ward and helps patients with whatever problems they need. Here in Israel, very, very often rehabilitation is involved with a lot of bureaucracy. You have bureaucracy from the government, you have bureaucracy from private organizations that do the, the rehabilitation. And it's very important for patients to be able to 
get through this bureaucracy without too much problems. You have a social worker that will help those patients, but the connection between the social worker and the patient needs to be done by the nurse. The nurse generally, throughout the morning, will go over to the social worker and say, hey, I have this and this patient that has this and this problem. They're most likely gonna be, need this and this. Can you go and have a talk with them, figure out how we can help them? Super important, something that nurses do on a daily basis, and it helps a lot of patients out. So as we're nearing the end of the shift, the nurse starts writing down what important things he or she will pass on to the nurse of the next shift. Super important to do this as the shift goes on, but towards the end of the shift, we start actually putting it together, putting the puzzle together, and actually building a summary that we write into the medical record, of course, but also we prepare a summary that we're gonna give, give over orally to the next nurse of this patient. So things that are very, very important to include in the summary is, as I said in the beginning, medications that were given, different tests or checks that were done to the patient so the nurse can keep track of different symptoms that may happen due to these tests. For example, if a patient went to the cath lab and they came back after the cath lab, it's very important to keep track that the patient isn't bleeding from where the cath was inserted. It's also very, very important to make sure that if there is any form of band that is around the artery that the cath was inserted through, it's very, very important to make sure that after the band, there's still some form of pulse so that we don't cause a complete necrosis of the hand or the leg or whatever it is that was that the catheter was uh, put through super important so that the nurse can keep track the point of this summary is to make sure that even five minutes after the nurse's shift starts the nurse has a general idea of what is going on with the patient and if something happens he or she can come right away and help the patient and not have to start looking through the medical record to figure out who the patient is, what the patient's background is, so on and so forth. It's very important and it helps us create continuity of care. Just in two words, continuity of care is basically the concept that even though I'm not the same person as the nurse who was treating you during the previous shift, I can treat you almost as if I was the same person because I have all or most of the information in front of me, either in the medical record or in the summary and it creates a form of care that is continuous, that it's not that somebody else is treating you and it's a completely different formation, completely different person. We try to make it as much as possible that it's the same person, that it's the same style of care, the same care plan, the same form of care that you're getting, and this is done through continuity of care. We'll get more into that in, the next, in a future video. Thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so that you're notified when we make a new video.